How's it going, my fellow Homo sapiens? It's your boy Uzi Makado, and today I'm just here talking over a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh rant. Um, I went to a tournament last night. It was Thursday, and once again, I topped or whatnot using my Clifford deck. And um, one person asked me a quick question. One person says, "How do you afford all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards? How do you afford these expensive decks? Like, where do you work?" How do you, you know, provide to get those cards? Well, it's actually quite simple. I don't buy packs. One thing I do is just win the tournaments. That's plain and simple. That's how I get my cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Is I find a deck that I like, and I play the hell out of it. I find the weaknesses, the strong points of it, and I win tournaments. And in those tournaments, I win packs. So as you see here, um, five bucks got me six packs last night. Um... If you go to a Walmart, I guess the packs are maybe like two, three dollars. I'm not for sure. I know at one locals they sell these packs like five bucks, and another local sells them for like four fifty. I'm not for sure. So to me personally, I don't like buying packs. Um, when artifacts first came out, I bought like a case, and that was the last time actually buying like boxes. I bought a case and didn't get all the artifact stuff I needed, and I still ended up um, spending some money out my pocket. I didn't like that. I was very salty afterwards. And I was really angry about that. So after that, I just started um, just buying the individual cards I needed itself. So basically what I do is I go to tournaments. I pay like 5 10 bucks. Just depends on what it is. Uh, I'll either win the tournament or top. And usually people is going to split the prize support. And if I pull something nice, I either trade it for some things I need or I'll just sell whatever I pull that's high value. So if I pull something from like 30 to 60 to even up, I'll most likely will sell those type of cards. And anything from like 20 down, I usually keep for trades. So that's how I get my trades. That's how I get all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And that's how I'm able to afford things. So last night was actually quite interesting. I got into a little argument with a guy who's not from my locals. He came to uh, the tournament, and, you know, he was one of those people that felt like he was just better than anyone else in the world. And a few of my buddies, we were just sitting back, and everybody was talking about, oh, yeah, we're going to side for your deck, da-da-da-da. And um, he comes over, and he looks at my deck build. And instead of him being positive, he was very, very negative. Matter of fact, he was just a really, really, just a dick behind it. He was just being a straight up asshole. And he said quite a few things like, you're dumb, you're stupid, you shouldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh, you're a horrible person, why would you play this? And he was like, I can't stand when I see a scrub who has very expensive decks. You know, what about you go bandwag something else? And I'm looking at him like, huh? He was like, no one runs Killer. Why are you running Killer? That, I mean, Tool. I mean, Tower, that's his name in America. I just like Killer better. So he's like, no one wants Tower, that's bad. You should take that out your deck. And he's like, no one runs three discs. You're supposed to run one disc. You're doing it wrong. Oh my God, you're not even running warning in this? So off the back, I really got pissed off. I really got angry. Because don't get me wrong, I don't mind criticism. As long as you can back up your claim and as you're trying to help. This guy, he was just trying to assault. And he really had like the whole tournament just kind of following around him, kind of agreeing with him. You know, everyone's just kind of laughing at his jokes on my deck. And at that point moment, I did get pissed off. But at the same time, I felt kind of bad. I'm like, wow. So I just came off to the dude and let him know that I am not a follower. I am a leader. I like to build my decks how I like to build them. I play my decks how I like to play them. You know what I'm saying? You said this deck is bad. Why is it bad? Back up your claim. The only thing I know you said was, oh yeah, no one plays tower and everyone plays one disc. I play one tower and I play three discs because I like running monster heavy. So another thing I was saying is tower, he was saying that tower is a dead card. So I'm like, okay, okay, I understand where you're coming from, but also tower is a win condition. I dropped that on you first turn, 9 out of 10, I'm going to win, hands down. So he just kept going on. He was like, well, you can win at this crappy locals, but you can't win at a YCS. And at that point, moment, you know, I started to think, I was like, you know what? I have only been at a YCS twice in my life. And there's no excuse. I mean, if I had an excuse, the excuse would be the person I went with always had to go early. So, you know, I, I, I could throw that, but you know, you know what? You, you, you topped it a Y says, I can respect that. But at these locals, I win. You know what I'm saying? So he also said, well, people here are just scrubs anyway. That's the only reason you're winning. So everybody just start kind of turning on him like, 
What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Because we got like a person who's like third in the state at our at our locals. Now, once again, I don't go to just one locals. I go to like two locals in my area because I like to get the, the two different areas. You know, people play different things at different areas. Now, me, I'm all about uh, respecting the player. No matter how bad they are, I try to respect the player. I'm a shit talker now. Don't get me wrong. But I still respect the player. I don't walk into a store and say, hey, y'all all suck. So... Off the back, me and this guy I never met before is on really, really bad terms. And I'm just like, wow, you just shitted on my deck. You know, you just talk bad about my deck. And that's it. You know, you just didn't back up your claim. So tournament started and um, I was undefeated. He was undefeated. Next person undefeated. He's undefeated. We both got to go against each other. So he sits down, you know, he's feeling all good. He's shuffling his deck, da, 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 da. And he's playing nothing else than what? Burning Abyss. <laughs> that shit funny to me. I'm going to be truthful with you. That's that's funny to me. You playing Burning Abyss? Okay. So at this point in the moment, I wasn't doing my usual shit talk. See, I talk trash to get into your head. But this guy here, he had pushed me to a point where I was actually upset. And I didn't want to get into an altercation with this guy. So I was just straight up this serious, you know, if he's so good, I'm going to treat him as a pro player. I'm calling everything. So he plays, sit down, and uh, first turn killer. Did first turn. I open up. Hold on. He shuffled my deck. He cut. I open up with three summoner arts in my motherfucking hand. A killer, and it was like another fucking um, Clifford monster. So three summoner arts, played them all, drop killer, first turn on him. So the guy, he's like, oh, this is bullshit. He takes a card, he reads it, he puts it back. He takes a card again, he reads it, he puts it back. And he shuffles his hands around. He tries to special summon a few. I'm like, man, send, send another monster to your graveyard. You're neg. I'm going to neg you every turn. Every turn, bro. I just don't care. And then he scoops up first game. He's like, oh, I got a side for that. That's just luck. And I'm like, mm, interesting. Killer's not such a dead card now, is it? Huh. So... I sided on them. I sided three Shadow and Prison Mirrors, two Rare Decrees, and a Soul Drain. Because my side deck is not like everyone else's side deck, buddy. So he goes first, blah, blah, blah. I set, 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 set. And his turn comes. He attacks. He sends some monsters to the graveyard, I guess. I don't know. He tried to do something. I flipped Shadow and Prison Mirror. He was like, uh, he MST, I flipped another Shadow and Prison Mirror. It's like, the fuck? So, on his, no, no, on my beginning, my turn, on my draw phase, he flipped over, what was it? He flipped over Firelight. And I chained with World Decree. And the dude just lost his shit. He just lost his shit. He was like, it's no way you had that in your side deck. There's no way. And he's going off and he's cussing and he's all angry and whatnot. And I'm not going to lie. My feel was nasty, buddy. My feel was nasty with a motherfucking killer in my hand. Now, I will admit, I don't play Clifford's to try to get killer out. Killer's just something that just so happened to happen. So, I had killer in hand. I had the nuts. I had tool in one area. Uh, 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 another um, pinnacle monster in my other area. I was ready to go off. I had trampoline in my other area. So, I was going to just bounce to this Get a double search. Oh my goodness, I'm about to go off. So the guy got angry. He packed all his shit up. And he was like, you're noob, you're scrub. And if you, no one has this in his side deck. And he calls ref to try to um, get me, you know, like, hey, you no, know, this guy's cheating some type of way. It's, he, it's no way possible that he had this stuff sided. So I'm like, well, that's dumb. You don't pack your stuff up, then call ref. You call ref before you scoop up. So ref come over, he looks at my extra deck, he looks at my side deck, and he's like, yes, yeah, legit. And he's like, who sides this stuff? And I'm like, I side what I like to side. I side for decks that I have problems with. Because everyone else is siding fairy win? That's not for me. I don't need to side that crap. You know what I'm saying? The two biggest decks out there that I think I would, might have problems with is light and dark decks. I'm going to be real with you. So, light and shallow, hold on, shallow and prison mirror, light and prison mirror, stop people from playing in the graveyard. And I just added um, uh, the card, the continuous trap card that people cannot um, have like two different attributes on the field. Plus my world of creeds in there. 
So the guy gets mad, he's angry, packs his shit up, and he just gets in his car and he leaves. Just, er, just speeds out. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, everyone's just watching like, wow. And I'm like, I thought I was a scrub. I thought I was this noob, you know. And, and to me personally, it was actually funny. Like, you said my deck was bad. But you just got too old. Now, I can maybe give it to you the first time. The killer that's so bad dropped on you. I admit, that wasn't that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. I shouldn't drop killer on you first turn. I should at least wait it like the second, maybe third round before dropping them on them. But I'm hoping you're watching this video. Because at the end of the day, like, you made these claims. You had a lot of people backing you up. And then you got salty when you lost. And this got your car left. Like, you didn't drop. You just got the car left. Just, just sped out. And to me personally, it's funny. You know, it's like, you looked at me. You didn't see a threat. You saw my deck. It wasn't like the people who topped at YCS. So, clearly my deck was bad. But no, you know, the better man won. Now, you could chop it up as, well, you got lucky. Eh, I don't believe in luck, so sorry. So, uh, next two games, I went undefeated. And I finally took my first loss. Believe it or not, I finally took my first loss last night. Um, I lost against Costello Knights. First turn, I won. Second turn, I sided Light and Prison Mirrors, World Decrees, and um, I opened up with the nuts. I'm not going to lie to you. Open up with the nuts. I set all my stuff, and he played full fucking house. Ladies and gentlemen, he played full fucking house. And I was like, what? And I didn't know if I could um, chain because it says two face up and three face down. And I was like, if I chain one, would that work? So there wasn't really a ruling on it. So he blew up all my cards. And I had two Shouting Prison Mirrors set. No, it was two Light Prison Mirrors set for um, Stellar Knights. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. I was like, oh man. So, I went ahead and scooped it up because I was being cocky. I was like, you know what, it doesn't really matter. I'll go first this turn. I'll get um, Tool and just go all out. And um, I just went ahead and scooped it up. You know, we both at 8,000. I was feeling good. It didn't matter. I had already topped. So, uh, third game. I, you know, ripped my cards and didn't, didn't rip it into a tool. No summon of arts, nothing. And it was, it wasn't like it was a, a quick death. It was a long and painful death. It was a poke here, a poke there, a negate that, um, bounce that back to your hand. It was very long. It, we went for like, oh man, we went for almost like 10 rounds, man. And he finally beat me, you know. I could do nothing but shake his hand. I was salty. Don't get me wrong, because somebody had finally beat me with the deck. And everybody was bouncing around like, yes, the undefeatable was beat it. But it, it, it's cool because, you know, he got to face me tonight because I will be up there tonight. And I will be at the other locals next um, in Saturday. So I will see him again. So uh, let's go ahead and crack open some of these packs here. Now, I don't know if there's anything good in them. I know that the other packs everyone else got, they pretty much ripped the nuts. So uh, let's see what we got in here. So, so that's my experience from last night. That's the kind of things you got to go through sometimes when you're um, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You got people who think they're better, they're larger than life. So let's see what we got here. All right. Okay, we got a Fluffle Owl. I don't have that yet. And a uh, Super Heavy Samurai coming. So overall, it was still fun. But, you know, people like that really gets under your skin sometimes. But it just feels so good when you destroy them in a tournament. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels so sweet. Oh, man. It's not better than sex. But that damn is definitely satisfying. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, we got the Stellar Knight. Okay, we got a Burning Abyss Rare. That's not bad. Hey, guess what? Another Heavy Samurai. Yeah, so... Everyone else, they open up their packs at the store. I usually like to make these videos and open up my packs. And, um, nothing was really, nothing big was pulled, like, worth money. They pulled the secret and the ulti and a whole bunch of hollow. So this pack could be nothing but rares. Oh, fluffle cat. Oh, how cute. Oh. Okay, we got a, a shell. And we got a Fluffle Bear. 
So even if we don't pull anything, it's not bad for the simple reason we get six packs for five bucks and two hours of my life. <laughs> it's still fun though, it's still fun. So we got a few more packs to open up. A couple more. Ying Zing card. A fluffle. And Jesus Christ, another fluffle bear. Okay, two more packs. So perhaps we have all rares. This is a strong possibility. Whoever shuffled these packs did a damn good job on that. Since I didn't um, come first seat, I came second seat. I didn't get to pick my first pack stack. Oh wow, so we got our first hollow. Okay. Nice, pretty, pretty. Not bad. Actually was looking for that card. I think it's going to be uh, go up in a, a little bit of value once um, those ritual cards come out. Miklos. So here's the last pack. You know this video is kind of running long. Okay, we got a UA power. And we got the power, hold on, the Tower of Power. I just like calling them the Tower of Power, but Clifford. Okay. So, there was nothing really in these packs, as I stated earlier. So, let's go and do a recap. So, we got that Tower of Power, we got that Hollow, we got a UA, we got some Fluffered Monsters, we got a Shell, and we got that Burning Abyss. So, that's all I have for you today. If you have any comments, please leave it in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Matane!